Hey, y'all. Welcome to the CPA exam series of the Working Mamas podcast. I'm Nikki. Thank you for tapping in and supporting this podcast and all of my CPA exam content. The Working Mamas podcast was originally all about my frolics and frustrations of being a mama to two growing kids. But like most moms out here, there's other hats that I wear. I'm a CPA. I work in corporate America. I run my own businesses. And so I wanted to have conversations about the CPA exam for candidates. Talk about business and tax tips for entrepreneurs. Share career advice from my perspective as a black girl working in an industry where I'm part of the 1% and not in a good way. And of course, getting real about money and credit and unlearning some of the things that we as black kids saw and adopted as the truth. So my podcast is a labor of love for me. I enjoy sharing CPA exam tips and tricks and all that I went through with the exam in hopes that my experiences will inspire you to keep going, no matter how hard or how impossible this journey seems right now. I'm here to tell you it is so worth all of the stress and frustration that you may be feeling. There's lots more CPA exam coaching practice exams, simulations, tutorials online at winstoncpagroup.com forward slash CPA exam. There's a virtual classroom where you can access all of my content, my notes, my tutorials, these premium podcast episodes and more in the virtual classroom. Check it out online. I also post CPA exam tips on LinkedIn. So make sure we're connected over there. And as you listen to this episode, if something resonates with you or is super helpful to you, let your networks know that you're tuned in to this exclusive CPA exam series of the Working Mamas podcast. Feel free to share on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and tag me at Nick Winston CPA. So let's jump into this episode. My struggles with the CPA exam manifested into the only black owned and woman owned CPA exam review course designed to prepare candidates for both the CPA exam and their accounting careers once they receive their license. Do you love this content? We'll help create more of it. Support this podcast and the CPA exam virtual classroom at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Nick Winston CPA. When you go to the site, click on the support button. And from there, you can buy as many cups of coffee or tea as you like. And feel free to leave a comment and tell me what you like most about the Working Mamas podcast. Head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Nick Winston CPA and help create more of the content you love. So just thinking about accounting, one thing that I wanted to do with my students is after they got through their exams, I like to have a conversation with them about what's next. And like I always say, this is the long game. We're thinking long term here. The reason that I pursued my CPA certification is because I wanted to create options for myself. I wanted to be in the driver's seat of my career and make decisions on my own terms. And of course, create that freedom and that flexibility to to work when you want and do what you want. So other people have other reasons. Some people do it as a requirement to, to move up in their jobs or just to make themselves more marketable. And I think something that we get so caught up in as CPA candidates is we're so stressed out and so anxious about passing the exam that we get this this tunnel vision with with audit, with FAR, with BEC, with REG, and we're not thinking about, okay, I passed the CPA exam and it, finally I'm done, it's over with, when really that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning of your career of making yourself more marketable and being able to walk into any room and prove that you are an accounting expert. And when I teach my courses, 
I don't teach students to pass the exam. I teach students the fundamentals of accounting, those concepts that you have to know in order to pass the exam. Because if I just taught, if I just taught people to pass the exam, I would feel like, okay, so what's next? We, we memorized enough to get a 75, but what happens when you go back to work and you have that piece of paper that says that you're a certified public accountant? What happens then? Are you still going to be in this senior accountant role? Are you still going to be wondering, okay, what what's the benefit of doing this? I haven't gotten promoted. I haven't done this. I haven't done that. And I don't want candidates to get caught up in that, thinking that once they pass the exam, everything is just going to fall in your lap. Now, granted, as a CPA, there are a number of doors and opportunities that open for you that may not have been available to you before. But most importantly, you want to be seen as an expert in your field. You want to be that go-to person that when your company is thinking about acquiring another company, you can speak intelligently about what that purchase accounting is going to look like. Or maybe your company is, is struggling and on the verge of bankruptcy, what are some things that you can talk to them about? Some some suggestions that suggestions that you could make based on your accounting expertise to potentially save the company or or minimize the loss. So, what happens when a company's trying to figure out should they introduce a new product? Should they discontinue a product? Should they shut down 500 of their stores across the U.S.? Then how can they make the best informed decision? If they have somebody like you on the team who understands this beyond just passing the exam, then that's where your value comes in. That's how you stand out from the crowd and from everybody else. So don't look at the CPA exam as being the end. It's actually the beginning of something far greater for you, for your professional life, and for whatever your reason is for sitting for the exam. So I just wanted to share that. I want to give y'all something to think about. And I just want to make sure y'all don't get so lost in the content and get so lost in trying to get that 75 and you don't know if you're studying the right thing, but really focus on learning the content. Once once you learn that content, you can pass the exam. You can answer those questions regardless of what format they throw it to you as, whether it's an MCQ, it can be a written, it can be in DRS, it can be a simulation. It doesn't matter what form or format they give you the scenario and you should still be able to answer it if you know the information. So happy to discuss this with y'all. Happy to answer any questions you have about the CPA exam, the process, and um, really get some study tips on how to how to be strategic and maximize your time. So if you have not downloaded my ebook, it's called Comma CPA. And the reason for that is my expectation is after you read the book, you get some motivation so that it can be your name, comma, CPA. So if you do not have the book, please go ahead and download it. It's on my website, www.nickwinston.com. If you follow me on Instagram, it's also on the CPA exam help link in my bio. I'm at Nick Winston, N-I-K-K-W-I-N-S-T-O-N. And you can always email me. My email is hello at nickwinston.com. So look forward to talking with y'all and continuing to answer your questions about the CPA exam. Do be on the lookout for those of you in Atlanta or those of you interested in coming to join us in Atlanta for the CPA Review Live course, which I'm going to be hosting later this summer in Atlanta. We're going to go over sections of the exam, starting with BEC, all of the contents that you, all of the information that you need to know, the content from the new blueprints that are going to be effective next month, July 2019. And um, we're going to practice we're going to get into the some some questions, some simulations, how to answer those, how to use your time during the exam during the exam and all that good stuff. So, look forward to connecting with you guys and um until next time, see y'all later. Thank you again for tuning in and rocking with me on another episode of the Working Mamas podcast. 
This podcast is the business plan for entrepreneurs, the how-to and WTF guide for busy moms, and the coattail pulling career advice that professionals need to win in the corporate world. I'm Nikki Winston. I am a mama. I'm a CPA and a career development expert who put all the what ifs aside and launched my podcast. Do you love this content? If so, I would love for you to help create more of it. Support the Working Mamas podcast at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Nick Winston CPA. When you go to the site, click on the support button. And from there, you can buy as many cups of coffee or tea as you like. And feel free to leave a comment while you're there. Tell me what you like the most about the Working Mamas podcast. Head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Nick Winston CPA and help create more of the content you love. If you're a CPA candidate, you can join the Winston CPA exam virtual classroom online at winstoncpagroup.com forward slash CPA exam. Business owners, get answers to accounting and tax questions and how to form your LLC or corporation at winstoncpagroup.com forward slash business. Are you a professional working in the corporate world? Well, there's career advice and tools that you need to elevate your leadership skills. Click on the career advice page of winstoncpagroup.com or go to winstoncpagroup.com forward slash career advice. And of course, for the busy overworked moms, there is a place where we understand your struggle. Join the Working Mamas community for cleaning hacks, quick meals that are nutritious and kid approved, and all things mom life at theworkingmamas.com. We also have a Pinterest board that's called Supercharged Self-Care that all the moms love. So check out our mom life tips over on Pinterest.com forward slash The Working Mamas. And of course, if you are not already, you can follow me online on LinkedIn, Instagram and Twitter at Nick Winston CPA. Connect with The Working Mamas online at theworkingmamas.com, as well as on the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn pages. Thank you again. It has been fun, and my podcast is a labor of love for me. So I appreciate every single solitary person who is tuning in, and I look forward to you coming back to rock with me on another episode of The Working Mamas podcast.